I am back today with the tour that I got from BarkBox October 2015. Like I said, I want to do a review on the toy that I got. Um, I already opened it, but it's called the Trog from PetSafe. And it's called the Squeak and Treat Trog for small dogs at 8 to 20 pounds. And my dog is a Jack Russell Terrier mix. Um, he's 18 pounds, so this is perfect for him. Uh, according to this chart right here, um, there's like a squeaker in the middle, and there's two places where you can put treats in, and then on the back it tells you that it's for like a moderate chewer. Um, I actually have another toy already by this brand. It's also purple. It looks like this, like that. And it's kind of like a treat ball, but it's UFO shaped. So it's kind of interesting. What you do with this one is you open it up, you turn it, um, and it comes right apart like that, um, where you can put the treats inside and then screw it back in. And depending on how difficult you want the treats to come out, that you can make it like wider for the gap or smaller for the gap. For this one, I felt like um, the treat came out too easily. It was on like one turn, but then it wouldn't come out at all if it was all the way closed. So this one's a little bit hard to customize. Um, but my dog still has a lot of fun with it. He caught this one. He caught the idea of how to play with this one like right away, within um, like a minute or two. So with this new one we got from BarkBox, I already have food coming out of it. Um, the new one from BarkBox, it has the speaker in the middle. You just press the middle like that, and um, it will squeak. And the speaker comes from this end, which is the end where you can't put treats in, but you can put treats in on this side or this side. The thing is, it's not all connected. So if you want to put treats on both of these ends, you have to put some on this side and then some on this side. So what I've been doing is using the um, salmon oatmeal biscuits we got also from the bark box. Um, I would take one of these pieces out, and they're heart-shaped, so they're like this. Um, and then I just break them up into like seven or eight pieces, and then just stick them right in. So you, you look at this, and then, oh, there's also these little little tabs on the inside. Uh, basically, if you want the trace to come out easier, you can cut these. Uh, it says that on the box, like, if you want to cut them, there's no going back. So once you make it easier, you can't make it harder again, which unlike this one, you can just keep turning it depending on how big the treat is. So if I plan on giving him, like, jerky or something, I would probably put it in this one. Um, so anyways, with this toy, you just put these pieces in here. And it's super easy. It doesn't take much time or force to push it in. Um, and one of these one of these ends right here can fit about one of these biscuits. So I would just break one into this hole right here. Uh, push it all the way in. And if you find that your dog is having a hard time getting the treats out from this one, instead of cutting the little tabs on the inside, I'd actually recommend just, you know, gently uh, squeezing this part right here to make the treats more crumbly so he can still get it out instead of cutting it because, you know, like I said, once you cut it, you can't put it back. Um, I'm going to get the other treat and put it on this end now. So what's nice about the squeaker is if your dog starts to lose interest into this toy, you can just do a little squeak and then he'll get back right into it if he likes a squeaky sound. Let's go see how Barley reacts to this toy. Um, he, this is what, this was the second time he played with it. The first time he played with it, he actually had some trouble understanding how his toy worked, and he kept coming to me for help. Like, Mommy, what, what, how do I get the food out of this? So that's how I figured out, like, you can just kind of crush it in here if you want the food to come out easier instead of cutting the tab. So let's go take a look.
Hi again, and it looks like, unfortunately, Barley is not too interested in the trog. Like you saw, that he just kind of pushed it around a little bit, didn't really chew on it, and lost interest in less than 10 minutes. Um, unfortunately, even within those 10 minutes, I had to re-engage him either with a squeaker or by shaking it a little bit every, like, minute or two or so. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to actually keep the story for Barley. But I'm sure there are other dogs out there that might be very, very interested in the trog. So don't let, don't let Barley, Barley discourage you. But, you know, from the same brand, I still have the um, treat ball, treat disc, um, that I really, really enjoy using, even though sometimes the treat falls out easily. But at least uh, Barley knows how to use this and engages with it quite for a quite long time. So anyway, thanks for tuning in again, and I'll see you guys next time.